What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? I am Didi Love. I came here real quick. I am motherfucking mad. I already made a video that didn't have no volume, but I just needed to come back and say this shit real quick. First of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Old and new, you know I love you. It is what it is. All right. But um, today we are here to check a bitch. Okay. So I was violated the other day. Like I told y'all that I was doxxed over on Kwani doxxed me. Let's be clear about who doxxed me. Kwani doxxed me. Right. So, you know, it happened quickly. It was three something in the morning. I didn't even sleep yesterday, but I said, I'm not going to respond. I'm going to take my ass to sleep. Let me see how I feel in the morning. And how the fuck I feel today is still violated, disrespected for no reason. Because lady, like you said, you don't know me. I don't know you. You was like, <laughs> who is this? <laughs> who is this DD Love? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, as a YouTuber, you saw that it said DD Love. That's all the fuck you needed to know. That's all you needed to say, but you did that shit on purpose. But isn't it ironic that it's coming from someone who's always up on this motherfucker crying and being a victim, talking about somebody violated them? Now, it's disturbing to me that a bitch who was upset because they was calling her job, allegedly you got fired, all kind of shit was going on, contacting your family, but you so comfortably and easily slipped my motherfucking name out there like it wasn't a problem. How disrespectful and fucking rude from somebody who gets up on here and conducts themselves as if they are the goddamn warden of the YouTube streets. You got all the answers at all the motherfucking time. Right. You know everything about everybody, but you didn't know that it was wrong to put my fucking information out there like that and to laugh so candidly. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I know that y'all think shit like that is funny because it's happened to you. Y'all are like motherfucking pedophiles. You know how people, how kids, they, they, they say pedophiles have been raped when they were little. Yeah, y'all are like that. Y'all motherfucking victimized over and over and over again, even though you claim to know better, even though when it happened, y'all motherfucking asses, y'all want to cry about about it right but then you so comfortably go do that shit to somebody else how fucked up is that let's be real these are grown people huh grown ass bitches out here just because they don't like you they do what the fuck they want to do we all i'll just let the world know your name it's not a problem you're in violation and let me make a motherfucking announcement right here and loud and clear so every bitch within the sound of my voice knows me hears me spread the motherfucking word any bitch anybody violate me outside the motherfucking youtube guidelines i am going to flag your shit down um let me repeat it anybody get it fucked up or twisted with me and violate me and do some fuck shit up here i'm going to flag your shit down i'm not behind no goddamn black screen and no goddamn avatar i'm telling you see your motherfucking face because see a lot of you bitches don't like people but these i don't know you so if you don't like me i don't motherfucking know you to like not like you so if you don't like me, why the fuck do you watch me? If you got hate in your heart for me, why the fuck are you over here? See, that's your motherfucking problem. Because you haters, natural born fucking haters. And a lot of you bitches think because y'all been here from the beginning, y'all got right to disrespect people. Who the fuck are you? I wouldn't give a fuck if you was here from the beginning of time. I wouldn't care if you motherfucking created YouTube, bitch. It means nothing to me. See, unlike y'all, I treat people all the same. I don't need a title. I don't need a tag. I don't need to think I'm better than, and I'm fucking above. And I can treat people any fucking way I want to. Y'all don't give a fuck about other people because you're miserable bitches. That's the only reason. Because you put people's name out there because then you want to find out where they work. So you can call their job and then you can get them fired and you can fuck with their livelihood. So they can be miserable like your motherfucking asses are. Because only a miserable ass bitches would do that. And y'all think that shit is okay because y'all fuck with other people who do the same shit. You laugh and you kiki. That's why you ain't got a motherfucking thing and you never will because you're fucked up. I don't need to know who did what, why, or how. All I need to know is this, that I am protected by God and the bitches who fuck me and wrong me always pay in the end. It ain't got to do nothing with me. See how that light always change when I say that? I didn't even do that shit. That's crazy. That's real talk for y'all asses. Okay. I am protected and surrounded is no worries whatsoever. Keep fucking playing with people. Just like when you said you didn't know who the fuck I was, but you said my name anyway. That was a key statement. I don't know who that is. So you don't know who I'm connected to, who my, who my family is, who my uncle, who I'm fucking. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know what connections I have. You don't know who I've worked for. You don't know shit. You don't know what I'm capable of doing. You don't know if I'm really motherfucking crazy or not and to come and bash your motherfucking head in or not. You don't know because y'all play too motherfucking much. Y'all all special fucking needs, retarded ass, tart cart, brown station wagon riding ass bitches. 
Y'all always want to talk shit about everybody else. You can point out every wrong and every other motherfucker, but can't see the ignorance in your own fucking selves. It's crazy. Wild ass, ignorant ass, tarted ass bitches. I'm sick of the bullshit. I don't even fuck with you whores. You act like I don't have the right to comment on certain shit. My loved ones, y'all know I'm not talking to you. I fuck with you. Y'all fuck with me. We good. We talking to the bitches who don't like me today. Because I never addressed them motherfucking whores. But obviously they want my motherfucking attention. So here the fuck I am. Okay? Right. Like I said, you ain't got to like it, love it. Res just, just motherfucking respect it. Okay? Because I don't fuck with y'all. I ain't never dropping down over there. I ain't never said shit to you. So when you don't know who a person is, you don't just do shit like that. That's how I know you know who the fuck I am. Because if you didn't, why would you do something like that? But then you want to cry when somebody does something to you. And the funny about this shit, y'all, these are the same people who when other situations pop off, oh, that's like a child to me. Oh, that's our child. To her. I'm always with the motherfucking dramatics around here, but I'm somebody's child too. Oh, what the fuck you think? I'm a test two baby bitch. I just showed up here on a goddamn scene. I don't have family members that love me and people who care about me. I don't love my motherfucking self, huh? You don't think that I need my job and want my goddamn job? You think I want people calling where I work, disturbing my fucking life, huh? In my peace? When I don't fuck with anybody, the only reason for a bitch not to like me is because they don't like that I have comments and I have a different outlook on things. That's your motherfucking problem, not mine. If you can't think outside the box, that's on you. Has nothing to do with me, period. I didn't ask you to leave your land of ignorance. I didn't ask you to leave Fantasy Motherfucking Island. If you think the ignorant shit you do is okay, that's your motherfucking business. Don't include me, huh? That's why I don't come around that. I don't fuck with it, and I don't expect people to be fucking with me. You're out of line, and you're disrespectful, and especially for a motherfucker who already been there and done that, who had it done to them, who had motherfucking everybody feeling bad for them. What a shame. The racist docks me. The racist docks me. So what about you? Should I start the same campaign on your ass that you did on the racist? Huh? It seemed justifiable, don't it? Because you did the same thing to me that he's done to you. You put my motherfucking government name out there and it wasn't necessary. It had nothing to do with you. And I had nothing to do with what was going on over there. And then what did Raw put my motherfucking, um, my information out there for? So she claimed over some fucking message that I really did not say anything about her in at the end of the day. And even if I did, bitch, fuck you. Huh? Raggedy ass, whack bitch. Now, that's what your name stands for. You picked a good one. Raggedy ass, whack bitch. Because you's a raggedy ass, whack bitch. You're fucking delusional too. All you bitches, you go around here doing shit and you feel like nobody can't say or do nothing to your ass. Who the fuck y'all think y'all are? Huh? Fucking nuts. Because you never acknowledge what y'all do to other people. Just what's done in Yale. April Walker, I heard you saying that the girl said that Raw said like she said, I mean, I'm sorry, that raggedy ass whack bitch sounded like Nicki Minaj. And you was like, what the fuck did that have to do anything? Girl, that's the mature immaturity bullshit. That's the type of shit that raggedy ass whack bitch like to hear and like to talk about. Right. Uh huh. Retarded ass shit. Like I said, tart cart ass station wagon riding bitches. They don't even ride the motherfucking yellow bus. OK, right. So a lot of this shit ain't going to make sense to y'all. We are sick of you motherfuckers, for real, on some real shit. It's a lot of y'all, the God squad. You bitches got God complexes. Y'all notice they talk to y'all like they pastors and ministers. They're, they're speaking down to y'all. Stop going for that fuck shit. Fuck them motherfuckers. We are all individuals. We are all respectable people. We should all be treating people as equals from the CEO to the cleaning person, okay? Every fucking body is important around this bitch. Everybody's lives matters. Not just the bitches that you like and that you give a fuck about, okay? At the end of the day. You can't get up on this motherfucker talking about you care about somebody goddamn child when you disrespecting motherfuckers who ain't never did shit to your ass, ever. Who you don't know, so you say. And you don't know me because I don't motherfucking know you like that, okay? I know you through a video, but I don't know you. But I would never harm you. I would never put you in harm's way. But by putting my name out there, what the fuck do you think you did to me? Hmm. Because you know it all. I hear you on here preaching goddamn sermons all the time. So I don't want to hear that bullshit about, oh, um, 
You didn't know what? You didn't know what? You didn't know what a violation like that could do? You didn't know what repercussions could happen from that? They happened to you, so you say. But you so comfortably throw my shit out there. Fuck my life. You don't give a fuck. Huh? Right? Let's call it what it is. Let's call it what it the fuck is right here, right now, today. Mm-hmm. Right. Motherfuckers be wanting apologies over bullshit. Y'all, 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 how many times have y'all heard me out here in the midst of bullshit in the mess? I give commentary like other motherfuckers, okay? Oh, yeah. Speaking of commentary, as far as Bama Girl goes, we will no longer be referring to her as Tawana Barley. She has lost that name. I heard Devon's mother on uh, Brianna's live the other day. It is on my community board. She called Devon her godson. And if she doesn't know Bama Girl and she can call Devon her godson, then Bama, sure, Bama Girl damn sure can call her son her, her you know what I'm saying, her godson. Because it was a similar situation. You didn't know her. She didn't know you. You consider Gucci your godson, so she considered Devon her godson. So respect to you, Bama Girl, whatever. All right? That's what you, it is what it is. I ain't ashamed to say it, and I ain't too proud. We keep it one trillion over this motherfucker. All right. So that's what it is as far as that goes. But back to the disrespectful ass docs and bitches. It's unacceptable. You need to check your motherfucking selves and figure out what's going on in your own lives. See, I don't give a fuck what nobody else does, where they live, where they work. You know why? Because my shit is good. I'm good. But see, y'all don't like to see other people good. You don't like to see people get on here and happy. So you'd be like, oh, she thinks she's. No, bitch, you shouldn't be thinking what the fuck I think I am. You need to be worrying about what the fuck you are. That's your fucking problem. Y'all get on here and want to analyze other bitches instead of working out your own motherfucking problems, huh? Deep-rooted shit from when you was motherfucking two, three, eight, nine, fifteen. 15 motherfucking years old yesterday shit shit happened to you yesterday got your head fucked up but instead of you focusing and addressing that shit you're fucking up somebody else's life i'm sick of you bitches i watch y'all from the distance and a lot of this shit i don't watch i don't even know what the fuck is going on see these bitches conveniently get motherfucking amnesia and don't know who certain people are y'all notice that right sometimes they know the whole history of the goddamn youtube everything everybody said when where how what everything they know it all and then when it's convenient for them, they don't know who's who. We don't watch this person. We don't know. But y'all know all the information, though, when it's convenient for you. Some real motherfucking bullshit artists. Okay? I need to find this this, this guy. Where is that? I mean, because when I read that the post back that this girl claimed was the reason why she filed those papers on me, I was so motherfucking through. Like, really, bitch? Who the fuck do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Hmm? Huh? Out of control. Don't care. Again, another person, miserable as fuck, want to fuck up somebody else's life. Pay attention to who's doing what. You understand me? She felt the need to go and put my name out there and put my name on YouTube and cut and have Kwani announce it on her big platform, Who's Didi Love. And you know, this bitch had her own motives because anybody who's ever fucked with raggedy ass whack bitch, they know that she checks numbers every day. She's mad that people are watching my videos. But fuck you, raggedy ass whack bitch. The reason why you don't have no numbers, bitch, is because you're not authentic. Because you spend too much motherfucking time worrying about other people too. Worry about your own motherfucking shit. Like, did you bathe today, bitch? Because I saw a goddamn video. I didn't even watch. I don't watch you. I never did. And another thing. A motherfucker said that I was in your chat in a, under a troll page. Bitch. Did you not hear me say you was motherfucking beneath me? Well, you know you beneath me. I already told you that. You know that. Right. I was trying to help your ass be better. What the fuck I'm going over there for? I didn't watch you when we was cool because you're a fucking fraud. I don't do lying bitches. There's a few of you whores I don't watch because you're fucking fraud. She ain't the only one. Raggedy ass whack bitch. But um, I'm sick of y'all. I've been heated. I need to get this off my chest. I, yeah, that's why I had a fucking headache probably yesterday. Stinking bitches. Out of control. Yeah, so... She going to dox me via Kwani. Kwani, you dead wrong for going along with that. I know you ain't that motherfucking dumb. That's how I know you know exactly what you was doing. And y'all think shit like that is okay because you've been violated. So you continue to violate others. Like other predators and bullies. What they said, a cycle continues. I've been victimized. Everybody knows all my life story. So let me force other people shit out. Huh? Let me shame and embarrass some other black people. Y'all claim y'all so black power at some motherfucking time. It's all bullshit. 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 
Don't believe the hype of these motherfuckers, y'all. Y'all need to be free, independent thinkers. Stop following these people. They full of shit. If you get, I don't even know how y'all listen to some of this shit for entertainment because it ain't nothing entertaining about it. It's ignorant and stupid as fuck. And it's never ending and it never has a resolution. But for somebody who knows the repercussions and the consequences of being doxxed to so comfortably throw my motherfucking name out there is unacceptable. Unacceptable. And like I said, I took my ass over there to flag your shit down, bitch, but it was already blacked out. Now, I mean business. I'm blocking motherfuckers. I'm going to flag you. You keep fucking around, play. Put my shit out there again. Anybody. I don't give a fuck who you are. I will flag you. Some people be ashamed. They on some do not snitch shit. I'd already told y'all. I pay motherfucking taxes. That's why I have security. So if I need to call the police on a bitch, I will. And if I need to flag a bitch, I will. If I need to cuss a bitch out, I will. If I had access to slap the shit out of a bitch, I would. So y'all play too motherfucking much. You playing with the wrong motherfucking people. You don't know who I know and where I be. You don't know. I got family throughout the United States. I know, motherfucker, I got family in St. Louis. I got family in Mississippi. My family in Mississippi is motherfucking deep. Yes, I have family everywhere. Alabama, Georgia, right, Louisiana. I got peoples every fucking where. Know that, right? I'm over here on the outskirts. I have family everywhere where you out here fucking with people. Somebody will go upside your motherfucking head. And I got spirit angels everywhere. So, you know. When bad shit happens to y'all out the blue, it's so wild when I call my spirit angels, the screen goes blue. I'm trying to tell y'all this shit is real. They letting y'all know those are the orbs. Y'all have them too. Call on them because when raggedy bitches come for you, you cannot always respond. You cannot stoop down. You got to let the universe handle some of these bitches. The universe is handling a lot of these bitches though. Because if y'all pay close motherfucking attention, this is why these bitches is miserable right now and don't have a motherfucking thing going on. This is why they want to ruin your life. This is why they want people to know all of your business and everything it is about you because they ain't got shit going on. And they ain't trying to do nothing else because you can't create new memories when you on here doing fuck shit to other people. But when you fuck with good people, know that your day is coming. Your day is coming. I wonder if y'all can see the lights like I can see the lights. Hmm. I got to look, watch the video back. All right, I got to go. I got better shit to do. Okay, I am off to go do a little shopping. This is why these bitches is motherfucking mad. It don't take much because sometimes I often look around. I am totally blessed. I'm like, God, how did this happen for me? Right, because my life ain't been easy. But because I've been a good person, I've always been blessed. Because I don't do fuck shit, I've always been blessed. Because when I make mistakes, I acknowledge that I fucked up and I've been blessed. I acknowledge, I apologize. So I've been blessed. Some of you don't have shit because you're not good people. Some of you are sad and in bad situations and bad relations because you're not good people. Period. You are who you are. You could move from here to North Dakota. If you ain't shit, when you get to North Dakota, shit will be there. You took your shit with you because you went, okay? It ain't about what's it's you. It's all about you, right? Crying ass grown bitches. Y'all notice these bitches be grown as fuck on here, boohoo crying and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, raggedy ass, raggedy ass whack, whack bitch be crying. Kwani be on here crying too but so quick to want to fuck up somebody else's life who ain't thinking about their motherfucking asses. Let me go. Y'all should have got hold of that first video I made. I'm telling y'all, I've been on... Last night, do y'all know God stopped my computer? I was like, what the fuck? I had made a video, couldn't upload the shit. Then I was like, my computer, my shit jammed. I ended up, I had to reset the computer. You know, it needed an up, it was a time for an update or whatever. But that was just God pumping my brakes. Sleep on it, sleep on it. So I slept on it. Woke up motherfucking offended, disrespected, violated, victimized by the YouTube street warden. Right? Y'all better be careful, these motherfuckers out here. They predators. They treat y'all just like goddamn criminals. They assault you, right? They attack you, they violate you. They rape you because they talk up under your clothes. They do all kind of shit, don't they? They rape you. They sodomize you. They victimize you. They hate you. They torment you. They disrespect you. They violate you. Be careful who y'all fucking with. These bitches ain't shits. I said it. 
a message from the House of Love, from the Village, from Castle Castle Black. Fuck with us because we don't get down like that. All are welcome here. I don't give a fuck what nation, like I said, what club, whatever, whatever. Whatever. I got love for everybody. I fucks with everybody all over the place. It doesn't matter to me. Okay? But y'all stay away from these bitches. They dangerous. When you hear them out here holding courts like they know every guy, they dangerous. You see them doing hateful shit to one, they'll do it to you. They're dangerous. Fuck these bitches, like I said. Y'all have a good day. It's still all love. It's still all good, okay? We good. It ain't nothing but a G thing. <laughs> I'm still gonna come out here. I'm still gonna do my videos, all right? And I'll let y'all know. But hopefully people will stay in their motherfucking lane and leave my goddamn life alone because I don't fuck with nobody. There's no reason for that. But when you put out people's name and information, understand that is the cause. You would be the cause of that happening. If anything like that happens, I'm going to come for you. You would be the cause of that. It would be your fault. Okay? It's documented right here. It would be your fault. Civilly. Since y'all want to talk about lawsuits and bullshit. It would be your fault. So.